Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson head football coach Ed Hoddle. And coach, uh, you returned home last Saturday, played Widener, and uh, overall pretty complete game on both sides of the ball, came away with a 36-10 victory. Yeah, it was nice. Um, I think the best part about Saturday was getting, obviously getting the win, and, and but also being able to play at Mustang Stadium. Um, you know, here in, the, here in the crowd, here in the band, you know, it's the first time we played at one o'clock yeah. game at home all year, you know, five weeks into the season. So for us, I think it was, uh, it was exciting for the guys to get back in front of the home crowd and um, they did a nice job. Yeah, um, certainly, like I said, you know, I think it was a 0-0 zero -zero game after the first quarter, like we were just talking about in the pre uh, before we came on. And, uh, you know, they had a couple of chances, but you're able to, you know, hold them to miss field goals. And then you got a couple of touchdowns in the second quarter just kind of built off that. Yeah, I, you know, I think you you go back and one of one of my favorite parts of the post game is looking through the stat pack um, and and watching and, and looking at they were inside the red zone four times and came away with ten points. Yeah, um, you know, we were able to put some pressure on their kicker um, in some key situations early in the game, and then obviously having our offense be able to respond and steal that momentum back early was was awesome. And you you go back and you look at what we did throughout the day, particularly on the defensive side of the ball. Um, we had 17 solo tackles in the secondary on Saturday. Yeah. And I think you look at that as, you know, our guys accepting the challenge of a very high scoring pass oriented offense and accepting the challenge of going out and having to win those one on one battles. Yeah. And the guys were able to successfully do that Saturday. Yeah, it's certainly important. You know, obviously, the big thing that stands out in the secondary at first glance is the, the three interceptions, two, two of them that went for touchdowns. But like you said, those solo tackles and able to make plays and kind of hold them to you know those yards after the catch. You know, so they weren't making those big plays. Absolutely, and you, you look at you know the, the receiver. I mean, he's very dynamic, um, great ball skills, and you know to put him on the ground in the open field was something that I know Coach Nelson and the guys worked on all you know all week, and it's been a point of emphasis and. You know, again, it's nice to take something from practice and watch our guys apply it in, in game situations and making those critical tackles. And, you know, we knew they were going to be able to move the ball a little bit. And, you know, we, we did some things that were a little bit out of the ordinary schematically for us. Um, and the guys were able to execute it at a pretty high level. It's just exciting to watch. Yeah. Now, overall, um, you go into the bye week this week, you're 3-2 and two overall. Um, kind of assess where you're at this point in the season. Well, believe it or not, you know, we're, we're the healthiest we've been all year. Uh, which is exciting going into the bye week. Um, you know, pretty beat up, you know, during the first couple of weeks. You yep. and I have talked a lot about it. And, um, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, as a coach and as, as a program, you want to continue to get better throughout the year. And I still really believe that our best football is in front of us. And that that's exciting. So our goals for the bye week are, number one, continue to get healthy, get rested. Um, you know, we're going to start to put the game plan in, you know, for all right yep. here this afternoon. Um, and really be sharp and, and not lose any of the momentum we've kind of built over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Coach, uh, once again, as always, we thank you for your time and uh, enjoy a little bit of rest, not too much, but uh, uh, enjoy that. And we'll talk next week and chat about the next couple of home games coming up. Thanks, Greg. All right, for Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.